Hello, lovies, and welcome back to Thy Kingdom Come, Matthew 6 and 33. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and take this time to click on that subscribe button and the bell so that you can be notified of future uploads. Lovies, Jesus tells us that we are the salt of the earth. Are you seasoning the world? Are you adding to the world? Or do you subtract from it? Do you add to people's lives on a daily basis? Do you ever have an influence in what people think about God's kingdom here on earth? In Matthew chapter 5 verses 1 through 13, it reads, and seeing the multitude, he went up into a mountain. And when he was set, his disciples came unto him. And he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. Ye are the salt of the earth. But if the salt have lost its savor, wherewith shall it be salted? It is dense for good for nothing, but to be cast out and to be trodden under the foot of men. Lovies, I remember reading that when I was a little girl. I used to love reading the Bible. I would just sit down, especially on a Saturday evening. My mom would have the gospel channel on and I would sit and just go through the word as they would go through. And I remember reading this verse when Jesus said that we are the salt of the earth. But if the salt have lost its savor, wherewith shall it be salted? It is thenceforth good for nothing. And I, I remember thinking about that and I would take and relate just the regular salt that we use and how when it, we put it on our food and how it seasons our food. And I thought about it without, you know, you taking, putting salt on your food and then all of a sudden when after the food is done, you sit down to eat it and it tastes bland. It has no seasoning. And I thought about us in a spiritual sense of how God would think of us. Imagine God having placed us here on earth for his kingdom to come here on earth and for his will to be done here on earth. And then he looks at us and get nothing back from us. Can you imagine how that must hurt God, how he must feel? Oh my goodness. I can't even imagine that. And I remember being a little girl and I never wanted to disappoint God in that manner. But when I ask, so are you adding to the world? Do you wake up in the morning and seek to bring joy to someone's heart? Do you encourage or discourage? When I think about the importance of salt and how it helps to balance the fluids in our bloodstream and how it helps us to maintain a healthy blood pressure and knowing that it is essential for our nerves and our muscle functions, I can't help but to imagine what Jesus meant when he told us that we are the salt of the earth in contrast to the importance of salt for our bodies to function properly. Can you imagine how God must feel? Can you imagine him putting us here on, on the earth and knowing that we are supposed to season the world? We're supposed to add to the world and not just take from it. So lovies, I'm going to ask, are you seasoning the world? Are you adding flavor to the world? Are you encouraging? Are you producing? Are you adding to the kingdom of God? 
or are you subtracting? Think about that, lovey, and let that sit in your spirit. And if you're in a place where you're not adding to the world, don't feel discouraged. Be encouraged and learn to encourage and to do better from this day on. Lovies, don't let your salt be blamed. For it will be just as God said, good for nothing, but to be cast out and to be trodden under the foot of men. Lovies, continue to be the salt of the earth. Continue to add to God's kingdom. And encourage others to be all that they can be in the kingdom of God. Add to it. And you will be rewarded for it. For these are the Beatitudes in Matthew chapter 5. And they are also the blessings of Jesus towards man. But love is this time to go. I love you guys. And I want you all to know that I'm always praying for you. And you know what my main prayer is, is that if you don't know Jesus as your personal Savior and your Lord, you will make him your personal Savior and your Lord today and come on into the kingdom of God and begin to activate and demonstrate the kingdom of God that is within you. Luke chapter 17 verses 20 and 21.